Hey, you excited, sir? Hey, how you doing? Okay, cut that shit off. Cut it 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 off. How y'all doing? Y'all look like y'all surprised I was gonna be this cute. What the fuck y'all thought y'all was gonna get? Uh, take this shit in. This is happening. It's in front of you. I'm plus size. My thighs is touching. I'm good though. I'm good. Got the little balls in between my jeans right here. I'm good though. I'm gonna made it. Oh my goodness, ladies, I'm feeling good. I was in, in a good space until I did something on my way here. I did something real stupid. You know, because women, we drive in driving shoes. You know, because if you don't, one of your shoes get black on the back. I don't like that. It's suede. So I, I learned to drive in driving shoes. Only problem is that when I get to where I'm going and I go to put my shoe on, I realize I was like, oh, this foot could use some lotion. Uh, but I messed up, you know. I lotion my whole foot. You know, look at all the women. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Amateur move. <laughs> I was lotioning the top. I started at the top, and then I, I somehow I hit the toes, and then I hit the whole bottom of the foot. You know, and I got that good lotion. You know, that Vaseline lotion with cocoa butter. I, I kid you not, all of my toes are at that little point in the front. All of my toes have officially slid to the front of my shoe. Ladies know what I'm talking about. You gotta walk around and keep doing this shit and kick them back because. Woo! Like my baby toe is dead. Like I know it's dead right now. I'm excited to be here. I got a promotion at work. What? Yes. I work for the sheriff's department. No, I'm not a deputy or a uh, officer. I'm a teacher. Yeah, I teach the inmates. I'm a life skills coach. I teach grown men and women. Yes. Thank you. I teach um, substance, alcohol abuse, domestic violence, parenting, anger management, and a new module called personal freedom. And the goal is to get them together inside so that way when they leave, they have a better chance of staying out, you know? But it's hard, because I'm, I'm adorable, you know? <laughs> it's really, really tough, because when you're in jail with a bunch of grown men, they don't care. <laughs> Like I had a dude walk into my class one day, or my first class had left, I'm in between periods, he walk in. Yo, hey, yo, hey beautiful. <laughs> I'm sitting at my desk, I stand up, I said, hi. Damn. Yo, you Miss C? I said, I am Miss C. Oh, hi. Shit. <laughs> I had to come and see if the rumors was true. <laughs> I said, okay, can I help you with something? He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, can I take your class? <laughs> so I said, I said, well, where, where dorm are you in? He goes, 3,000. I said, 3,000 is all the way over there. You roamed all the way over here? He goes, yeah, 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 I guess I did. <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, you know you can go to hole for that. He's like, shit, I go to the hole for you, Missy. What you need? Who you, you got a problem with, Missy? So I said, you know what? I can't take you because you're all the way over there and I only take 5,000 students, but I can't. What classes do you need? And he goes, well, shit. What class is you teaching? Because those are ones I need. So I said, you know what? Just I don't want to get. I don't want you to get in trouble because you already got to go all the way back to 3,000 without getting caught. So just go back, and you know maybe some other time you'll find your way. I don't know, but you gotta leave. He was like, alright, I'll leave. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna leave, Missy, but I, I'm gonna be back though. I'm gonna be back though. He came back two weeks later. My class is coming in. He walk in. He like, see, I told you I was gonna be back, Missy. I'm back. <laughs> it's cool because I'm really shapey, like I'm, 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 I'm very curvy. So I wear these things called butt curtains. What? It's just like long ass sweaters that I wear every single day to work. <laughs> Over everything I have on, I have this long ass sweater that comes down to right here. Every color, I found them on eBay and I just fucking bought every color. It's like, bitch, give me two of everything. In the summertime, I try to tie them around my waist so when I get into work, I just shoo, and put it on. It's like a cloak. But when you got a student who just came from court facing 25 to life, he don't give a shit. <laughs> he come into the classroom one day, it's my best student, he's sad. I said, what's wrong with you? Nah, Miss C, they just gave me 25. They gave me 35 years, but I got to do 25. I was like, oh my God. He goes, yeah. I said, you know what, I'll say a prayer for you. He goes, nah, can you go ahead and move that little sweater thing? Up? I said, excuse me? He's like, yeah, you know, cause like, I'm about to do 25 years, like, let me see. Like, I don't even know why you hiding it, Miss C. We know, like, we all know what you got. Come on, Miss C. I was like, I'm not gonna move my sweater so you can see my ass. So then can you stand in front of the fan then? And like, let the fan, like, technically you ain't touch it, we ain't touch it, like, you feel me? I said, you know what, you being real disrespectful. I'm at, I don't want you to go to the hole for this shit. Shit, I'm about to do 25 years, Miss C. I don't care about the hole. I just want, come on, Missy, come on, come on, 
Come on, Missy. Like, if I ain't respect you so much, I'll move that shit myself, Missy. <laughs> but when I first started working it, I didn't know the rules. Nobody told me the rules. As a female teacher who's curvy, you gotta tell me the rules when I'm working in the jail with a bunch of men. Tell me. So when the first, like maybe like the first two months I'm working there, I never had to erase the board because we never got that far. <laughs> and there's no shade to nobody. We just didn't. We always spent, you know, I have a, a, a lesson plan for the day. We always spent our entire time on that one lesson. Then the next day we move forward. I never had to touch the board. It was always handouts and stuff. So one day we're doing really good in class. We're doing great. And we finish early. I'm like, wow, we actually finished like 30 minutes early. You know what? I'm gonna erase this and I'm gonna start the next lesson from tomorrow for tomorrow and then we'll just stay ahead of the game so I'm excited they're excited I'm like yeah you guys this is great so, to, so what we're gonna do now is I turn around and I start erasing the board <laughs> and at that very moment I realized I fucked up <laughs> Cause it got real quiet. I was like, yeah, you know, we go, uh, shit. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Uh, really appreciate it if you take your hands out your pants. Uh, <laughs> make me feel a lot better. You, you finished already. You leave. You get out of here. Uh, I remember once, because it's really segregated in the jails. Like, I never, because I'm from New York, you know? When you're from New York, everybody, yeah, everybody just, everybody just everybody in New York. Out here, it's like groups. It's really segregated. So when you're in jail, it's the Mexicans. I mean, not well, the Hispanics. And then it's the blacks. And then it's just fucking other. Like, it don't even matter. It's just other. And this, we were talking about parenting. And, no, we're not. We were talking about domestic violence, and they were trying to like say, when is it okay to hit a woman? I'm like, never. What do you? What is, <laughs> they always want to give me. But what if she is no? <laughs> so if she took my Jordans and threw them in the towel and put bleach on them, I, I don't know. I'll think about that one right there. <laughs> which one were they though? That's what I need to know. I need to know which number. So they arguing, and when they started arguing, all of all the Hispanics tensed up. And then when the Hispanics tensed up, all the blacks in the class tensed up. I got nervous, I'm two months in. I dropped my marker on the floor. I bend down to pick it up and get quiet. <laughs> they arguing, they going at each other. Hey, F you, no F you, no F you, yo, what's up with this, blah, 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 blah. I dropped my marker, I went to go pick it up. I heard one Hispanic go, yo, she dropped her marker, guys. Wait a minute, everybody, don't look, look, look. So I look up and all of them is like this. <laughs> I was like, oh. <laughs> I kicked it out the door. Went out the door, picked it up, and came back in. I got a promotion because now they let me teach the gay guys. I don't know why that's a promotion, but whatever. Uh, but now I teach the gays. Now I have anything against gay. If you were in here and you gay, live your life. If you a woman and you gay, live your life. If you a man and you gay, live your life. I don't care. That ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with, that's your shit. That's your business. But if you a man and you gay, I just need you to do me one favor. One. Like calm down. <laughs> like all of this. It's too much. We don't do that. Women don't, we don't do that. And they didn't like me when I first got there. Tracy had an attitude. Tracy's a ringleader. I'm standing outside the classroom. I'm getting ready to go inside. I'm prepping myself because I don't know what I got to deal with when I get inside. Tracy got an attitude. Off back, I hear him. <laughs> but who is she? Like, <laughs> he got the same haircut I got. <laughs> like, who is she? Is she even cute? Like. <laughs> But I know how to get a gay man. I tore Tracy's little life up. I went in there with some Louis Vuitton loafers with the matching belt. I had a bag with nothing in it, but I wore the shit because I needed to make a point. I walked in there, I put my bag on the desk, I started writing my name and my information on the board. It's quiet in the classroom. I hear them whispering. Yes. <laughs> they telling Tracy, Tracy, hey, bitch. Just turn around, bitch, because Tracy not facing me. He got his back to me. Turn around, bitch, us. And Tracy's like this. The guy's like, Tracy, turn around, bitch. He got on Louis. Yes, Tracy. Turn around. Turn around. So here's Tracy's turn around. <laughs> I see 
se con Leon, relax. <laughs> He stood up. He stands up and goes. <laughs> I don't see what you're doing. So I turn around. I said, hi. He goes, hi. <laughs> I said, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I was like, I'm amazing. So you're going to be our teacher? I said, yes, I am going to be your teacher. For how long? <laughs> Except for however long you'll have me. Okay, because I think we like you. I said, thank you. He goes, you're welcome. <laughs> One day Tracy asked me to do my hair. He said, Miss Lee, can I do your hair? I said, how you gonna do my hair? Bitch, it's me. <laughs> I said, well, of course you can do my hair. He said, ask the deputy if you can bring a little flat iron in here. Watch. I said, okay. So I told the deputy, the deputy said, you can bring the flat iron in one time. Mind you, I got curly hair. It's curly as fuck. I bring my flat iron in. When I tell y'all Tracy did my hair, oh my God. Tracy was flat ironing shit I didn't even know I had. Like, like he was catching hair. Like, he was catching all this right here. He got all this. All these little hairs on my arm. I got so, I was so, I got, I was, it was so good that, cause you know when you have short hair and you get your hair done on the outside, that shit $90, $100. I don't got enough hair to be paying $90, $100. I got bougie with it. I start bringing my flat iron in every week. We singing I'm Every Woman, he behind me, I'm Every Woman. Curling my hair. Then the deputy gonna get mad, he gonna hate. Talking about some Miss C, can I talk to you? I said, of course you can talk to me, hi. He goes, I told you you can bring your flat iron in here one time. I said, I don't even be bringing it in here like that. He said, your hair didn't look like that this morning. I said, like, oh. I said, okay. He said, if you bring your flat iron in here again, I'm going to have to, you know, write you up and it's going to be considered contraband. I turned into Tracy. I was like, wow, really? <laughs> you mad, bitch? Wow, wow. Hater, hello. Okay, I see you. I see you. Hating. <laughs> Then one day I felt comfortable enough and I asked Tracy, I said, can I talk to you for a second? He goes, yes. <laughs> Did you catch that? Yes. I said, why do you do all of this? <laughs> he goes, what do you mean? <laughs> I said, you do all of this. What is all of this? He goes, what are you talking about? I said, why do you do this? What does it mean? He goes, everything. <laughs> so I said, everything like what? He said, ask me something, say something to me. I said, well, uh, your hair looks really nice. He goes, duh. <laughs> so I said, but sometimes you be having an attitude. He goes, and sometimes you be having an attitude. <laughs> and one day he checked me, he tried to. I came to work and I had on some jeans. And he goes, Miss C, no. And I was like, excuse me? He goes, no, no. I said, what are you talking about? Those jeans, you wore those already. <laughs> I said, excuse me? He goes, you're a diva. We don't do those things. You wore those jeans already, Miss C. No, I'm checking you. <laughs> Problem? I said, you checking me? He goes, yes. I said, wow, you checking me? Okay, <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> Okay, so you're checking me for some jeans that I wore already. He goes, yes. I said, but I washed them too. He goes, it doesn't matter. You're a diva. We don't do that. I'm checking you. I said, okay, well, shit. I don't know how you checking me when you wear the same shit all fucking week. Who you check? <laughs> Problem? You mad? <laughs> Now we best friends. <laughs> we hang out all the time. <laughs> My bestie, he be checking me and shit, telling me not to talk to dudes and stuff. But the way he do it makes me laugh. He'll, uh, we'll be out together and the guy will be like, excuse me, beautiful. He'll be like, no, broke, fuck out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Scram, kiddo, get out of here. And the crazy thing is he could fight. <laughs> like if you, he'll square up with you and buck you up too. You don't want to get beat up by a gay dude in heels. Like that's not what you want on your record. 
He got mad lotion on his feet too, so he take them off when he fuck you up and then slide right back into those motherfuckers. Kick them real quick. I'm out here losing weight and stuff. Check me out. Yeah, look at me. This is called newly divorced. You understand what I'm saying? This is that revenge body. I'll be picking up my daughter in bull stop. Do you hear me? I'll be picking her up in bikinis. My ex husband be like, really? Really, Takara, you're gonna come over here in this bikini and pick up this baby? I'm like, well, you know, I lost some weight. <laughs> Make sure you see it. You understand what I'm saying? I did, I lost some weight. Ask me how much. Three pounds! Oh my God! So excited about those three pounds. Some of y'all judging me. I'm like, only three pounds? Listen, it took me three months to lose those three pounds, okay? Let me live. I'm not weird. I think I'm like most women. When most women lose weight, we lose a little bit of weight, but in our heads, we killing the game. Like, I only lost three pounds, ma'am, but in my head, I'm 30 pounds down. Like, in my head, I'm, I'm, I'm shopping bathing suits different. I'm walking different. Before I lost those three pounds, I would talk to people like this. Oh, wow, okay, that's nice. But now that I think I'm 30 pounds down, I'm talking to people like, so, in, okay, yes. I'm excited about it. But then I did what most women do. I did something stupid that humbled me really quickly. Mm -hmm. Got a 16 year old. He's sitting at home minding his business watching TV. I walk right into the, in the living room because I walk different. See, before, before I lost those three pounds, I was walking like this. But then when I lost those three pounds, because in my head I'm 30 pounds down, I'm walking like this now, walking in front of them. So I stand in front of the TV and he goes, Can I help you? I say, Yeah, you can. Uh, come on. And he goes, what, Ma? I said, come on, come on. You see it. And he goes, I don't even know what you're talking about. I said, okay, I get it. You've been talking to your father. Y'all don't want me to be great. I got you. I got you. I got you. I said, I lost weight. He goes, oh, okay, congratulations. And then I did the dumbest thing I could ever do. Mm -hmm. I said, Chase, do me a favor. Go in my closet in the back. There's a bin. Bring me a pair of them jeans. Mm -hmm. When your 16-year-old 6'1 son look at you and says, I don't think that this is a good idea. <laughs> you should probably listen to him is what I'm saying. So he goes in the back and he gets the jeans. My son is 6'1 football player. When your son hands you a pair of jeans with a tear in his eye, and he says, Ma, I don't think that this is a good idea. I said, mind your business. Give me them damn jeans. Do you know how humbling it is? to put on a pair of jeans from high school mm -hmm. and find out at that moment mm -hmm, that your calf mm -hmm, is the size of what your thigh used to be back in the day, do you? Do you remember how humbling that was? To find out that this calf was the size of my thigh. Like, my son is like, why are you about to cry? I'm like, I'm not crying. Uh, there's no blood circulating to my foot. Get these, these goddamn jeans off of me. <laughs> New to, I'm like newly divorced, so I'm like trying to date and thing. And dating is cute, but I don't really, I can't do it. Because now that I'm mid-30s, pushing 40s, depending on who asks. Depends on who asks me. I can't get a guy my age. I'm either getting like really young guys or really older guys. But I can't get like a guy my age. And it was cute when a 23-year-old first tried to holler at me. I was excited about it. He's 23. I'm like, ooh, okay, okay. I even called my girlfriend. I was like, girl. And when you got a girlfriend and she like your best friend and you call her whispering, she gonna whisper back. She don't even know why y'all whispering. But she gonna whisper back. So I'm like, girl. And she like, girl, what? I'm like, guess who out here pulling 23 year olds? She was like, girl, you out here pulling 23 year olds? And it was cool until he did something. He messed up. He gonna look me right in my face and say, can I ask you a question? I said, cool. He goes, do you, do you buy hair? I said, what? He goes, do you buy hair? Because I sell hair. I said, if you don't get your little ass out of my goddamn face. I'm lying, I'm lying, I'm lying. I gave him my number. I gave it to him. I did, I did, I did. Because I don't have nobody. I don't got nobody. I gave him my number. And it was cool because I took him to the movies. Yes, I took him on your business, okay? He in college. He's in college. I took him to the movies. I took him to uh, I Pick Theater Pasadena. We first walked in, he embarrassed me as soon as we walked in, because he ain't never been nowhere nice before. As soon as he walked in, he like, oh snap, it's mad nice in here. I said, hey, 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 shut up. You're embarrassing me, get over here. So he comes over, I pay for the tickets, we go in, you know they got the little leather seats. He feeling on the seat, somebody in the seat, he feeling on it. Yo, this is, this is not even like blended leather, this is real leather right here. I said, hey, hey, get over here. Get over here. We get to our seats, 
we sit in our seats. And you know the seats go back, right? I pick theater. He don't know that. I sit in the seat, I put my blanket on, I start pressing the button, my seat started to go back, my feet started to go up, he loses his mind. Oh, oh, where you going? Where you going? Where you? I said, you know what, get your book bag, let's go. Get your book bag, let's go, let's go. I'm lying, I'm lying, I stay with him. I stay with him, because I don't have nobody. I don't got I stayed with him. <laughs> and he was cool too, he was cool. But then I, I had, I had uh, you know, it's a lot of older men in there. If you're an older man, let me tell you something. Just because you're older and you feel like you might die any day, that don't give you the right to talk to women whatever way you want to talk to us, okay? I'm at the gas station one day, I'm pumping my gas. I'm out of my business. Pumping my gas, mind my business. Some old dude come up to me. Old school, got on a red linen suit with sandals and socks. I'm talking old. He walk up to me, he go, baby girl! Baby! I said, excuse me. You, I'm talking to you. I said, well, hi. Baby girl, let me ask you a question. I said, uh, okay. Baby girl, what you doing out here pumping your gas by yourself? You're too beautiful to be out here pumping your gas by yourself, baby girl. You need a man like me in your life, let me pump your gas for you. I said, well, you know what, sir? I'm just, uh, I'm in a situation right now that requires me to pump my own gas. Like, I didn't know, I didn't know what else to say. So he tells me, he got a cane too. He goes, baby girl, come here, let me tell you something. I said, uh-uh. He goes, baby girl, come here, let me tell you something. I said, I don't wanna, I don't wanna come in. Cause when an older man asks you to lean in, he about to say something to you that's the most disrespectful thing. He don't want nobody else to hear him. That's why he wants you to come here. So he said, baby girl, come here. So I lean in. He goes, baby girl, let me tell you something. You know, you thicker than a goddamn snicker, do you know that? I said, okay, no, 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 don't go away. Let me tell you something else, let me tell you something else. I said, sir, what, sir? He goes, baby girl, let me tell you something, all right? Baby girl, all my kids is grown. And he drops his cane and does this right here. He goes, all my kids is grown, baby girl. I'm retired, I got a little bit of money in my pocket. Baby, what you trying to do? I said, sir, if you don't pick up that goddamn cane and get your ass out my face, sir. I'm lying, I'm lying. I gave him my number, I gave it to him. I did, I did, I did, I had to, because I don't have nobody else. I had to, I don't have anybody, I'm single. And he was cool until I called him, but he got two Bluetooths, one in each ear, like he didn't know which one to answer. Hello, 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 hello. I said, hello. He goes, oh, 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 there you go, there you go, there you is. There you is. I said, how are you today, sir? She, she, I'm fine, how you doing? I said, I'm okay. All right now, all right. You know what, baby girl, I wanna do something nice for you. I said, well, okay, I think maybe we can go, uh, we can go eat. Well, oh, shit, I could feed you. So I said, okay. I said, you know what, let's do dinner. Well, I could take you to dinner. What well, time is good for you? I said, you know what? Dinner for me, um, I'm thinking, uh, maybe 7.30, 8 o'clock in the nighttime. I can't go nowhere at no 7.30, 8 o'clock in the night. I'm asleep. That's too late for me, baby girl. Not as young as I used to be. I said, okay, okay. Whoa, 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 okay. Calm down, cat daddy, relax. Give me a second. I said, well, what do you want to do? He goes, oh, shit, shit. Uh, thinking maybe I could take you to breakfast. I said, you know what? I've never been to breakfast as a date, but okay. Shit, what time is good for you? I said, we're not going to do that. That's what we're not going to do. Uh, what time is good for you? He goes, well, shoot, breakfast. Shit, let me think for a second. I get up at 3.30, I got to get up. Got to eat my, I got to eat my boiled eggs in the morning. And I, I read my paper, take my medicine, that's what I do. Get my car washed, get the senior citizens discount, got to do that. You know what, baby girl, I got it, I got it, baby girl. I'm thinking, shoot, I'm thinking maybe I could take you to breakfast, let's see, around uh, 5.30 or 6 o'clock. I'm like, a.m., ain't nobody going to breakfast at no 5.30, 6 o'clock, a.m. I'm lying, I went, I went, I went, I had to. I don't have nobody else to take me to. I went, I did, I did. And it wasn't that bad, like the sun is coming up, we're eating hard boiled eggs, it was dope, okay? Try it sometime. <laughs> oh, trying to be out here in the streets. I'm new to uh, LA, I've been here for a couple of years. LA is cool, like I like y'all and stuff, but LA's like really bougie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I didn't realize how bougie LA was until uh, I almost got into a car accident with somebody. And she didn't even care that we almost died. She was more concerned about the car I was driving. And she was like, don't kill me in that piece of shit car that you're driving, okay? Like she didn't even. And since I'm newly divorced, normally I don't have time for stuff, you know? Like when you're in a, in a relationship, first thing you say, somebody come to you with something crazy, but like, uh, I don't have time, I have a husband. <laughs> no, I don't have time, I have a man. I don't have time, somebody at home loves me. I don't have time. <laughs> But when you newly single in these streets, oh, ho, ho, I got time for all the shit, all the pettiness, all the nonsense. 
all the craziness, I got time. I'm driving to work one day. Long story short, I got in an accident. They told me you can get coverage, you have coverage, you can get a rental. I got an SUV, $50 a day credit. I said, no, we're gonna do this $25 a day car because I don't know how long it's gonna take you to fix my car. So let me just get this little Kia Optima. I like the Kia Optima, it was cool. I'm driving to work one day, this little Armenian lady, let me say this too, I'm from New York, I've never seen an Armenian person in my life. And then I move here and it's just like a whole different, what, I, I, they just designer, every, the women wear all designer and none of it matches. It'll be like a Chanel hat with a Louis Vuitton belt with Gucci shoes and then the Armenian men hang out at Starbucks all day and take shots of coffee and their Mercedes Benz and Tulsa's. That's all they do all day. That's what an Armenian person is and they just think they own everything. That, that's what they do, because they do, apparently. They own everything. Uh, they own all of Glendale, like that's all they belong to them. Yeah, see, see? She's gonna correct me. She's like Glendale, okay? Um, so I'm driving down the street and I got this little Kia Optima and I'm driving. There's something else you do in LA. If you're gonna put your turn signal on, I need you to turn. That's what I need you to do. I need you to go ahead and make that left or make that right. This older woman is in this Mercedes Benz in front of me. She got the blinker on. Six blocks, she don't turn. I'm getting pissed off. I'm from New York. I drive aggressive. What do I do? I cut her ass off. But the way God set it up, she met me right at the light. So when you cut somebody off and they meet you at the light, what do you do? You roll up your window, you cut your music up and you stare straight ahead and you pretend like you didn't do nothing wrong. That's what I would normally do because normally I ain't got time. Oh, but today I had time for this old man. I rolled my window right down. I said, miss, I got time for you today. This little Armenian lady looked me right in my face. She goes, why do you cut me, eh? You driving this piece of shit. You don't cut me, you drive this. This is not good car, that's Kia, Kia piece of shit car. You don't cut. I drive Mercedes Benz, I cut you. You don't cut me, you drive piece of shit car. <laughs> she hurt my feelings. So I rolled my window back up <laughs> and she speeds off. So she's driving in front of me again, my feelings are hurt. Normally I don't have time, but today I got time. She hurt my feelings. I pulled up next to her and I cut her ass off again. Mm -hmm. But this time she wasn't playing with me. She met, she drove in front of me and T-boned to where I couldn't move. So she getting out her car, I rolled my window down. I said, miss, you can't do that. She goes, I own street, I do whatever I want. Okay? <laughs> but now she's talking to me, but she's not upset with me, she's concerned. She goes, I don't understand. I tell you, don't cut me, you drive piece of shit. Why do you keep cut? Why, huh? This is Kia, this is not good car. This is, look, aluminum foil car. I touch her then, not good car. I said, you know what, miss? I don't have time for you today. And I put my hand up. She looked at my hand, she goes, oh, you don't have a husband. That's why you driving piece of shit, because you don't have a husband at home. I said, actually, I'm getting a divorce. She goes, good, you get the divorce, okay? Any man buy you piece of shit, you get the divorce, okay? He want you to die, he buy you this piece of shit car. She started turning into like a mother figure for me. Come, 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 talk to me, come, come. I get out of my car, I'm all hugging her. Look at you, come. You know how when old women talk to you, they hold your face? Look at you. You're such beautiful girl, look at you. What are you, crazy? Why you don't have a husband? You have good job, right? You have good job. I said, I do. Why do you don't, why are you single, eh? Why do you don't have nobody? Huh? And she said something, you know what? You're beautiful, you have good job. This is not your car. I said, this is a rental. Okay, listen, listen, I have proposition for you, okay? I said, okay, listen, okay? I have son, okay? <laughs> Listen, listen, listen. My son, he come from Armenia. He need to get papers. He marry you two years. Listen, shh, two years. I give you $75,000. You buy yourself Mercedes Benz. You cut whoever you want to cut. Sounds good, right? Sounds good, okay? I said, first of all, lady, you better get your ass out my face with that nonsense you talking right there. I lied. I'm lying. I got his number. Yeah, yeah. I got one more year. One more year. One more year. One more year. I'll have my Mercedes. One more. One more. One more. You guys ready to have a good time?